CBSE and CRE Solutions Chapter 5 Arithmetic Progressions Exercise 5.1 Problem Number 2 the, the problem is write four terms of the AP when the first term A and common difference D are given as follows. So there are five parts in this problem number 2. The very first part is we are given A equal to 10 and D is equal to 10 and we need to find first four terms of the AP so first term is already given to us that's a first term is a and it is given to us that is equal to a is equal to 10 and common difference is also given to us that's 10 so it means that the difference between the second term and the first term is equal to 10 so we can say that second term minus first term is equal to 10 because it's given to us that the difference common difference d is equal to 10 so second term would be equal to 10 plus first term so that would be equal to 10 plus 10 equal to 20 so the second term would be 20 similarly third term would be equal to second term plus 10 so it would be equal to 20 plus 10 so in order to find every next term, we will have to add the common difference to the previous term. So that's the nature of any arithmetic progression. Similarly, four term would be equal to the previous term plus common difference. Common difference D is given, it's 10 and it's equal to 40. So first four terms of this sequence are 10, 20, 30. And 40. That's the solution of very first part. We can take any example actually. Okay, let's pose one example here 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. We know that the first term is A. First term is always represented by letter A, and it's equal to 3 here. And the common difference is difference between any two consecutive terms, and it's equal to 3, right? 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. And also, 9 minus 6 is 3, 12 minus 9 is 3. So it's an AP. Now in order to find the next term, for example, we know the sequence still 18 and in order to find next term, we will have to add the common difference. So it's very simple. So the next term would be 21 and the other term would be 24, 27, 30 and so on. So similarly here, we know the first term and common difference and in order to find the second term, we just need to add the common difference to the first term. We will get the second term this way and then to, in order to find the third term, we need to add the common difference to the first term. And in order to find the fourth term, we will add common difference to the third term, and it goes like that. But we just need to find very first four terms, so this will be the answer. Now, going to part second quickly, we will repeat the same process. We will just add the first term to the common difference in order to find the second term and we will add the second term with the common difference in order to find the third term and so on. In the second one we are given a equal to minus 2 and d is equal to 0. So first term is already given to us. First term is, is equal to a is equal to minus 2 here and second second term would be first term which is a plus d common difference and d is 0 here. So second term is also equal to minus 2 similarly third term will also be equal to minus 2 third term is equal to second term plus d and second term is minus 2 and d is 0 is equal to minus 2 also and fourth term would be equal to third term plus d is equal to minus 2 plus 0 it's also equal to minus 2 so first four terms of this sequence are minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 and minus 2. All of the terms of this sequence are equal. We can also explain this whole process in a different way. For example, we have always first term equal to a and second term is always equal to a plus d and third term is equal to a plus d. Third term is equal to second term plus common difference that we know that right. 
so its second term is a plus d and plus common difference is equal to a plus 2d here similarly fourth term is equal to a is fourth term is equal to third term plus common difference third term is a plus 2d plus common difference and it's equal to a plus 3d this will be the part of your next exercise basically but if you can understand this now that will be very helpful so the same way we can find nth term and nth term would be equal to a plus n minus 1 times d because fourth term here is equal to a plus 3d we have a letter 3 here and it's 4 here so the number here is 1 less than here it's fourth term and it's 3 here so when we will reach nth term there will be n minus 1 here times d now let's go to number 3 part it's equal to a is equal to 4 and d is equal to minus 3 so first term is is equal to 4 second term is equal to first term plus d is equal to 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 third term is equal to second term plus d equal to second term is 1 and d is 3 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 here similarly fourth term is equal to third term plus d and third term is minus 2 and d is minus 3 minus 2 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 5 so the first four terms are 4 1 minus 2 and minus 5 so this is the solution of third part of this problem now going to the fourth part we have a is equal to minus 1 and d equal to 1 by 2 so first term is given already first term is equal to a equal to minus 1 and second term is equal to first term plus d first term is minus 1 plus d plus 1 by 2 so minus 1 plus 1 by 2 it's equal to 2 here minus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 here and third term is equal to second term plus d second term is minus 1 by 2 and plus d is 1 by 2 here so I, we get 0 here now fourth term is equal to third term plus d third term is 0 that we got and d is 1 by 2 so it's equal to 1 by 2 so the first four terms that we get are minus 1 minus 1 by 2 0 and 1 by 2 these are the first four terms of of this of this part fourth part of this problem number 2 now going to the last part fifth part is we have a equal to minus 1.25 and d is minus this is question mark here one second minus 1.25 and d is equal to minus 0 0.25 now we need to find the first four to first four terms first term is already given and it's always equal to a is equal to minus 1.25 and second term is equal to first term plus d plus d is equal to minus 1.25 plus d d is a negative so it will be 0 0.25 here equal to minus 1.50 third term is equal to second term plus d and it's equal to second term is minus 1.50 plus minus 0 0.25 that's d and it's equal to minus 1.75 here now fourth term is equal to third term plus d is equal to third term is minus 1.75 and d is minus 0 0.25 so it's equal to minus 2.0 here so the four first four terms of of this problem of this sequence are minus 1.25 minus 1.50 and minus 1.75 and minus 2 so this is the solution of part number 4 of this problem number 2 
So in the next video, I'll be covering problem number three, chapter five, arithmetic progressions, exercise 5.1. See you guys.